Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today by tapping the two inch brush through just a little bit of Prussian blue. And we'll come right up here to the top and begin dropping in a nice little sky. Now today, I don't want my sky too distinct. I want it to be pretty soft. We're going to have a lot of things in front of this sky and a lot of the sky will end up getting covered up. So we're not too worried about it. Just a gentle little blue sky. Keep it nice and dark at the top and then let it get gently lighter as it comes down toward the horizon. Let your brush run out of paint and then come down to the horizon. Don't start here at the bottom because it'll be very dark. We don't want that. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can very lightly just give this sky a quick blend. You don't have to do too much, just a little blend. And then we'll go lightly across. Now I'll pull a one inch brush through just a little bit of white paint. And we can start dropping in some clouds up here. Now I don't want my clouds too distinct today. So I'm not loading a lot of paint on the brush. Sometimes I like to load a lot of paint. But today I want the blue that we already put down to pick up this white and then it won't be very bright. There, using tiny circles just to drop these clouds in. Not a big deal. And there's not a lot of contrast in these clouds. That also helps them to look soft. See, because we didn't really get that sky very dark to begin with. Not a great deal of contrast. Now with a clean two inch brush, I want to gently blend away the bottom of these clouds. I'm just looking to destroy the bottom edge. There, just lightly mix up the bottom. Look how soft that makes them. And then we'll lift them up, fluff them, grab them at the bottom and lift them right up. This blends out the top and makes the whole cloud look even and soft. And then one final blend horizontally. Now with just a little bit of black and blue on the fan brush, and I'll wipe a lot of the paint off on a paper towel. So there's, there's not much paint here. I'm going to drop in just the basic outline of a mountain very, very far away. It's so far away that there's no detail on it. Just the basic outline. Look at that. I'm not even using the knife because I don't really want texture. I want it to be very smooth. Kind of a, a little ridge of mountains, a whole line of mountains back there. Gently work them in with a fan brush. In fact, I'll just grab a, a clean brush and really make them soft. Blend out the bottom. Look at that. You can push them a thousand miles away very quickly. Blend over the whole thing. That's good enough. Now with some brown and green and black, we can think about some very distant trees back here. In fact, these are so far away that they're just almost silhouettes without any detail at all. Look how that color it's pretty pale. I'm not putting it on very thick. Put it on thick, it'll be dark. And we'll save the dark colors for the foreground. We don't want them here in the background. Now, before we go too far, let's drop in just a little bit of water down here in the foreground. This way we have it mapped in and we know where it is. We can build the rest of the landscape around it. Now with some brown on a two inch brush, we can begin thinking about some grass back here. Now I think I want a lot of grass today. Let's do like a big meadow or something. Maybe with some birch trees growing. But for now we'll just tap in this dark color. With some yellow and white. We can begin putting some highlight on the grass back here. I'm just going to begin 
by touching, tapping very lightly. The reason I put all that white in there is because I want it to look very pale. Do you see that? Because that will make it look far away, very distant. Keep the pale colors in the background. And then as you come forward, the colors will become more distinct. There, just tap it right on. Now I'll tap the one inch brush through some good dark color, mostly black and green. And okay, this has been too easy. We need a big tree. There we go. Just drop it right in. You know what? I think we need a clump of trees. There's another one. Now with just a little bit of white on the script liner brush, we can drop in the indication of a couple of birch trees back here. In fact, maybe quite a few. Now I did not really thin this paint out much, just maybe a drop of paint thinner. And so I'm getting a lot of little bits of texture in there. And to me, that looks like birch bark texture. If you thinned your paint out, it would be smooth and it would flow right off the brush. Almost all the time, that's perfect, but not today. Now I'm back to the one inch brush and a little bit of green and black. And I just wanna drop that color right over those tree trunks just to push them back. Now you can add a little bit of white to the color. I did that. So it kind of stands out a little better. But don't thin the paint. If it doesn't come off the brush too good, don't worry about it. Just keep on going. Because if you thin this paint, I want more birch trees in front of this. And if you thin the paint, it's just gonna become too muddy too quickly. Now with just a little bit of brown and black on the knife, Let's go ahead and think about these larger birch trees. Set the knife up on the top, let it run right down to the bottom of the tree. That's the quickest way to do it. Back to the one inch brush. We can begin tapping some leaves onto these trees. Just use the corner of the brush and lightly tap them right on. Now don't do this solid. Don't come up here and just block the entire thing in completely solid because then you would lose little bits of your sky. And I think it would be just really neat to have some of the sky kind of showing through these leaves with just a little bit of white paint. We can begin turning these trees into birch trees. Figure out where you want your light coming from, which side, and highlight that side only. The reason we didn't do this first is because these dark leaves, when they went over the white of the bark, they would have become too light. I want them, I want them nice and dark. With a little bit of yellow and green, we can begin tapping on some highlights. Now I thinned this paint down so that it would stick right on top. Use only the corner of the brush here to drop on your little highlights. And pay a little more attention to the right side than the left, because the light's coming in from this direction. Now that we're done with those birch trees, we can begin tapping in some grass. This is just yellow and green. And I'm tapping with a two inch brush. Tap very lightly. If you push too hard, then it'll all just mix together. You won't be happy with it. So just tap lightly. Now with the two inch brush, we can grab the bottom of this land here and pull down. I'm creating little reflections in the water. Now maybe we want another birch tree. And this one, this one's gonna be real close to us. This is just black on the knife. 
make the trunk a little larger. And then let it stop closer to the foreground. All right. And it, I think it needs another one. A little bit more texture on these trees because they're closer. In fact, I think before we get too far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, watch this. Have a bump out like that and then bump him back like a, a little bend in him. It's kind of neat. With just a little bit of brown and white, we can add in some dirt right here. Just add the highlight part on. Rub it with the knife. Let's add in one more little clump of birch trees. Maybe we'll do a, another clump of two. And let's have them stop. Now let's bring them down a little further. Let's have them stop right there. I think that's great. Then build it up very, very thick. Now we can begin adding a touch of highlight to these trees. This time I'm going to do the highlight first before the leaves. So maybe I'll stop right there. Won't go any higher because I want the leaves to be dark. Now back to the one inch brush and we'll just tap on some leaves to these trees. I have a very, very dark color, green and black and just a little bit of blue. That blue kind of makes it even darker makes it real strong and it covers up well. And that's what we want. Now I'll tap the one inch brush through some yellow and green. And we'll begin adding on some highlights. Now I added some paint thinner to this color so that it'll stick over all this paint. Now do you see here, I made this color just a little bit more vibrant. So it stands out against all the other layers of trees we have back there. So you can tell for sure that the most vibrant colors belong to these big trees up here. Now we can add some finishing touches like a little bush here in the foreground. Maybe we want one right here too. With the script liner brush, we can add in a lot of little grass blades down here. Little blades of grass. All right, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my instructional DVD and also my website. And thanks for watching.